Hey everybody, this is Mr. Prudana and we're going to be showing you how to make some cams today. We're in activity 4.5, cams in motion. And this first one that we're going to do is the eccentric cam. So it's basically a circle with a square hole. Remember the outside could be anything from 1.5 to 3. Let's stick with quarter inch increments. The hole in the center should be a quarter inch hole. So once we open Inventor, I'm going to make a new part and start with the sketch. I like to use the XY plane. And I'm going to use my two point center rectangle and click once and type in 0.25 and 0.25 using the tab to switch in between them. And then I'm going to draw just a center point circle above my square. And we need three more dimensions. So I'm going to dimension the diameter. We'll make it 1.5. And then I'm going to dimension the distance in between the center points. I clicked on both center points. And we'll make that 0.5. Finally, you'll see when I hit escape, I can drag my circle around. I need to use the vertical constraint shown up here in the constraints with the up and down line between the center point and the center point. Everything's blue and it's fully constrained. Now I can finish my sketch and use the extrude tool. It's really important that we click on just the shape we want to extrude and not make it um, go in two directions. So you can see that it's only coming to the front in the yellow box here, we want to make sure this is symmetric. And we don't need one inch. I was just using a quarter inch. That should be more than plenty for what we need. So we've got symmetric, extrusion, quarter inch. And then the last thing we want to do is click this triangle next to our origin. And we want to turn our planes so they are visible. And it's really important, I want to go back and emphasize that when we're doing our squares, we want to put our square in the center uh, because that's where our hole is going to be and that's how we're rotating around. Because if we do it that way, then we can use this Z axis. And this is going to allow us to have the axis of rotation around that line there. And that is the eccentric. Go to File, Save. Make sure we're saving it into our IED folder and type in eccentric cam or just eccentric. 